guys. Hey, we're here uh, at uh, Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. Is there like a comic? I just dropped, I dropped my uh, sunglasses. Oh, and your lens popped out. It's all right. Is there any signage that says the name? No? No. No? Okay, well. So they'll just have to take our word for it, but we are here. And here we are. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a shot of outside and I'll include it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was it. Yep. <laughs> hey, that was really cool. How'd you do that? Uh, magic. Oh, that's fun. Uh, so we we're looking at board games. It'll be fun. Should we should we play this this bedpans and uh, bed broomsticks? Pans and broomsticks. I don't know. I I'm not sure what's going on. It kind of looked like zombies or something, but you're old people. Oh, okay. And wait, let's see. It's the start of another day at the Shady Pines Retirement Home. It's pleasant enough, but not very exciting. <laughs> Today the elders are on a field trip, but there are a few obstacles to overcome. Doctors, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's just about being old and sneaking out of a nursery home. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though, I guess. Yeah. Chai Tai, our lovely Chai Tai, is trying to have a game sent to us called Geek Out, which sounds like a lot of fun and would be right up our alley, but... I think it would be. Not sure if it's going to get here in time. If we don't play it this week, we will definitely get to it. The Labor Day holiday. Yes, Labor Day. Affecting... Days. Labor Day. What, what, are other, what are other good board games, Crispy, as we're just... Have you ever played uh, Dominion? I've never played Dominion. I've Dominion's heard of it. Dominion's cool. It's, it's like one of the premier... It's like one of the first of the, like, uh, the deck-building type games. Mm. So it's one of those ones where, like, uh, like, every round you're, like, discarding and rebuilding, like, a deck of cards. To okay. Play. Um, it's really cool, and then it comes in all of these. Yeah, a lot of different versions. I see crazy expansions. I've never played any of those. I've only done the original a couple times, but that was really cool. Uh, extra, 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 extra papers. Send reporters out to collect the latest news and photographs from New York, London, Paris, Rome, Berlin. There are and literally Tokyo. board games for everything. Conduct research in the morgue hey, to make these stories easier to complete. That's cool. Yeah, you can you can live out any sort of mundane fantasy in board game in board game in board game. Yeah. Um, I still have not. I still haven't played Takanoko. It's pretty good. Me and Bernadette oh. played sometimes. It's good for like a few people. Yeah, for not many people. Yeah. Ugh. The lighting here is atrocious. I wonder if. What is it? Pixel Lincoln. PI. What else? What's good? What's good? I I have always wanted to try this. What is it? Risk Legacy. What? What is that? So basically, Risk Legacy. As you can see, the box is sealed. And the reason is is because there are special rules to Risk Legacy that carry over between games. Okay. So when you and your group of friends. Oh, I think I've heard of this. Yeah, when you pop this open, this becomes your like game. So like for instance, in one game, somebody might do something like use a nuclear weapon to take out somebody else, mm -hmm. which means that that country that they bombed in future games it's will be there. irradiated. Oh. Like you can't go in there. Like it's it, it'll be and there there's Let's all sorts of the whole this way a little bit. the whole point of the game is that the decisions from one game carry over to the next game and the next and the next. How game. many can you play um, before it's just ruined? I don't know. I, I would think at some point the game would just become, yeah. But it's kind of a cool idea that like you know we could have our own like world. And yeah. Risk that, that would involve a lot of board game nights with Risk, or I mean, Risk is a decent length game. If we had it where like every board game night we played one game and just kept carrying it over. Man, I need a light. It's so dark in here. They keep this place pretty. Uh, We'll just keep the camera on me because I'm radiant. Keep the camera. What do you got? It is called Perplexus Twist. Is it a game or is it a... I don't know. I, these, these kids are really enjoying it. They do, they do seem to like it. It's a difficulty level 7. I assume that's out of 10. How is it a game though? Oh, there's a ball in it. It looks like it's a toy. A lot of games have balls. That's true. Traitor, no. We need more reasons to right? yell and scream at we each other. Need more yelling games <laughs> where we hate each other. Are you a werewolf? <laughs> Time travel. Uh, all right, all right. We're done. What game did we get, Chris? We got Cash and Guns, what? like we thought we would. Yeah. Um. So on Tuesday night we will be playing. 
How does it work, Chrissy? Okay, so basically how it works is everyone is a gangster divvying up a loot after a big score. Everyone has these little guns you might be able to see right there. Oh, guns. And every turn somebody picks somebody else to point their gun at and hold them up, but you don't know if they're going to fire or if it's a, like a, blank. a blank a blank round or something like that. It's basically like a big bluffing game, yeah. and it has guns, and we're going to be yelling and, and trying to kill each other, and it's wonderful, and I can't wait. I've been really sounds excited. Sounds like a regular board game night. Yes, sounds like... Sounds Sounds pretty par for the course for us, so I can't wait to try it. I've been really excited about this one. Anyway, um, so I guess that's that's it. That's it. We got our new game. Uh, so Board again, game Tuesday, tomorrow, I guess Tuesday the eighth of September. Yep. So come on back around regular time, seven thirty Central Time, for Board Game Night, and we'll see you guys there. We love you. Bye. Bye.